to because we only had a limited time before the actual guests got on this ship was far and in between so there is no way that you can go on the splendor and say 
that you have nothing to do, even if it's just walking. You're going to get your exercise in. So go ahead and get that big breakfast and get that big dinner because you're going to walk it off trying to get to the shows and the spas and to everything else. The fun shops weren't open, so we really couldn't go inside to see the pricing and things like that. But they already had sale signs up, and the ship hasn't even left yet, and things are 70% off. For those of you that don't know, when you travel on a cruise line, a lot of the things in there are duty-free, which means there's no tax on it. And as for those of you who enjoy jewelry and alcohol, it's a great way to get alcohol, jewelry, even perfumes as well at a very low price on the ship. You can get things that are twice the size that you normally would pay maybe anywhere from like 50 to 150 if we're talking about jewelry. You can get on the ship for like 75, 25, 30 dollars. But it was a great, you could tell that the ship was recently renovated. The food was excellent. We had the braised ribs with the stir fry rice and a fried eggplant and it was great. There was also a fish dish with uh, a plantain patty. We sat there laughing because people were saying, no, it's mashed potatoes. We're like, no, it's plantains. It's like, no, no, it's banana. I taste banana. <laughs> so, but we had fun. The ship is just gorgeous. Now, one thing I did, did like was the port. Norfolk port is not a large port. But it's actually not bad for people who are coming from New York, the DMV, various parts of Virginia because our ride is only about three hours. And if your ship is leaving at five o'clock, you can leave about seven, eight o'clock in the morning, still get to the ship in time, check in nice and early and have free run of the ship before it gets really crowded. As we got on the ship at 11 o'clock or so, by 11 excuse me by 11 30 they was already walking around saying would you like a drink it's a dollar off would you like a drink and we was like we wish we could but we're not staying but it was great they had a tandoori spot they had uh, italian carved meats mexican burrito spot they had the double jacuzzis with the private pool in the back which is a spot most people don't even think about they go to the middle of the ship to hang out but if you go to the back of their of your Lido deck there's a smaller pool with a jacuzzi and it's generally just adults and it's a great place to relax they had the water slide they even had two miniature golf courses in the theme of Treasure Island overall it was a great trip it was a great way to learn about carnival and their ships and as a travel agent as you can see and you will see once i get the videos together we do more than just sit behind a computer and book trips we actually come out and do training we visit sites and a lot of times when we visit these sites it's at a discounted price because that's the perks of being an agent but we do this so we can arm ourselves with the proper knowledge in order to book the greatest trips for you so you can create the best memories but as you see soon i will work over the next couple of days to try to put all of the pictures and all of the videos together so you can see about our great trip and i will see you on the beaches